Good morning everyone I am Harpreet and in this video session we are going to discuss our third point that is voice of rain written by Walt Whitman here he has used personification means here uh, to show the human elements in no living things here he is saying the voice of the rain and he is using the human element voice to the rain so it's a personification this is the first para and who art thou said i to the soft falling shower which strange to tell give me an answer as here translated so here the poet is saying a he is describing here a mystical experience once there was a soft shower of rain the poet asked the shower who he was and he was wonder struck when the shower started giving an answer the shower gave the answer in his own language the poet translates it for us he calls it the voice of rain so the poet the rain said i am the poem of earth said the voice of rain the rain said that it was the poem of the earth external i rise impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea upward to heaven whence vaguely from formed all together change and yet the same here it said that it keeps rising eternally out of the land and the bottomless sea no one can feel or touch it when it's rising it's impalpable it goes up towards heaven that is the sky and there it takes a wage a unclear form which is quite different from the form in which it rises but it remains the same in its nature or composition it changes only in its form not in its essence so here the poet is telling us about the cycle rain cycle in poetical way i descended to leave the drops tommies dust layer of the globe and all that in them without me were seeds only latent unborn the rain tells a poet that it comes down from the sky to bath the earth's dry land tiny particles and layer of dust it bars all those that without it were mere seeds without the rain they could never sprout into new life and forever by day and night i give back life to my origin and make pure and beautify it here the poet is saying that without the rain the seeds could never sprout into new life they would have remained unborn the rain says that it keeps giving back life forever to earth from which it's born it keeps making the earth pure and beautiful here the poet is describing uh, he is giving an imaginative description of his encounter with rain he compares the rain to a song a song rises from the heart of the poet for song issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment wandering racked or unracked duly with love returns the poet here compa compares rain to a songbird a songbird leaves its nest which is its birthplace it goes about singing to attract its mate then after wandering and the fulfillment of its love it comes back to its nest it doesn't matter whether anyone has paid attention to its song or not it comes back satisfied to its nest similarly the rain comes back to its birthplace satisfied and happy these lines can be explained in different way also the poet compares the rain to a song a song rises from the heart of a poet the poet sings his songs and showers its rains on the earth it doesn't matter to him whether anybody hears his song or not after the poet has sung his song it settle back into his heart which is its birthplace the song 
keeps rising again and again and keeps the poet sad pure and happy so uh, it's her point that the poet uh, here the poet has used personification and this is all about our point thank you have a nice day